Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I'm in West Gallup, New Mexico, on my way uh, east, coming back from California. For those who follow my channel, you know my brother passed away this past week. We had a memorial service yesterday. I've been driving almost nonstop. I took a nap in a Walmart parking lot. I think I need some more sleep. But uh, making it back, I, 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 this, I'm calling this Plaid Venture, the Plaid Adventure. You can see the, uh, see if I can show you the Plaid. I don't know how to turn it around. All right, well, um, here we go. It's, uh, where the heck is it? It's over here somewhere. The red one, yeah, that's it. So I'm driving the Model X Plaid. We're supercharging right now. It's a great vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of things great about it. I would say the biggest thing is it's just incredibly comfortable. This is a very, very long drive, really, you know, basically I'm gonna be driving 6,000 miles in this thing in a fairly short span of time. And these seats are spectacular. The, the ride is spectacular, it's so smooth. When I, we drove across the country in my Model 3, or, and when we drove across the country in uh, Tesla Tino's Model 3, some of the rough roads get really loud uh, in the Model 3. In this car, much quieter, much smoother ride. It's the air suspension. It's probably better sound deadening materials. The uh, the ventilated seat is addictive. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to drive a car again that doesn't have a ventilated seat. Elon, in the unlikely event that you're watching this, please put ventilated seats in the Cybertruck or at least make them an option. The ventilated seat is amazing. Uh, just makes the air conditioning, basically delivers the air conditioning to your legs and your back and your butt. And that's really cool. Uh, acceleration's ridiculous. Driving's fantastic. Your great road feel. Uh, I'm stuck on Navigate and Autopilot. I, I don't have FSD beta on this vehicle. Very frustrating. But uh, the car drives itself. And there have been times when I've been really tired and, you know, nodded off for a second. And, hey, it doesn't crash. Try that in another car. <laughs> so... Uh, I almost think it encourages you, to, encourages you to drive tired because you know the car will take care of you and that's, you know, the car will get better soon and then you'll be okay with that, but that's probably not the best call. So the Western United States, wow, is this area dry. Uh, you know, I kind of wonder about Elon's plan to build a colony on Mars. Like, it's hard to get cities going anywhere. You know, China had built, China's built some cities with uh, questionable property value, questionable property choices, and they're not able to get people to move there. You know, are you going to be able to get people to move to Mars when you can't get people to move here? Or, you know, there's just not that many people here. You want to get a million people to a place as desolate as that? I wonder. Anyway, uh, Plaid Model X is spectacular. Uh, wonderful vehicle. I think the long range Model X would be similarly spectacular without the insane acceleration and with a little bit more range. Uh, I've been driving in chill mode uh, on the way back. I think I'm doing a little bit better on energy efficiency, but the practical reality is this thing is a brick going through the air. I mean, it's very, it's very aerodynamic for what it is, but it's got a huge frontal surface area. So, but I'm enjoying it. I'm getting used to it. And, uh, I, you know, if you can afford a Model X, I recommend it. I would probably choose the Model X long range over the Plaid if I were making that choice again. Uh, but, you know, I got a really good deal on my Plaid Model X, you know, for $20,000 less than the current price. So I'm not going to cry. I think it probably costs about the same as the long range Model X does now. So, uh, you know, just, and I'm sleeping in it. And uh, it is good enough. I put a suitcase in between the two second row seats. I have a couple of yoga mats and a comforter and a couple other things to make myself comfortable and it's working. Uh, for me, it's very firm, but I like firm, so it's not a big deal for me. Uh, it's an interesting challenge. Like I haven't figured out yet, how do I get the car to stay locked and keep the air conditioning on and not unlock itself because it detects the, the the phone app and it detects the the uh, key fob. There's a key fob that comes with the car. Uh, a key fob that, you know, does a bunch of different things that, you know, opens the doors and closes everything. You click the top three times and everything closes up. And I think it's detecting that and then unlocking the car. 
and you can't put it in camp mode and have sentry mode on at the same time but you can have the air conditioning active and have sentry mode at the same time i'm trying to figure out what i need to do next maybe i need to turn off the uh there's like an automatic door opening or unlocking one time the car actually the car door actually started opening uh while i was trying to sleep so maybe i need to turn off those features when i'm trying to sleep in the car i haven't figured that out yet if anybody has any tips on how to uh sleep in your car i don't know if it's different with model x and this with other cars because the other cars don't have the auto open door um and maybe you just leave the air conditioning active without putting it in uh, camp mode and then you have sentry mode active that seemed to work for me but you know i'm i got my head at the rear of the car i got my feet up in the middle there uh i use um i have these two sun uh sun, what do you call them? you know windshield protectors that i put over me so that i have some privacy from people looking in the rear window i don't think anybody's looking slept in a walmart parking lot last night only got a couple hours in but it was a good couple hours but i'm tired again so i'm gonna go have breakfast or lunch or whatever we're gonna call it there's some place that has uh, donuts and sandwiches that's supposed to be really good here in Gallup West End Donuts and Deli or something like that so I'm gonna try that we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah so I'm back uh, very sad about my brother's passing trying to figure out how to process that not sure I have really processed it yet my brother is the guy that I would call about almost anything I was doing and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Hey, I'm thinking about doing a pod car. Hey, I'm thinking about doing solar farm apartments. Hey, I'm thinking about getting a divorce. And he's probably one of the first people. He was the first person I called about the divorce. I talked to him about every, pretty much everything I do. And I fortunately have a lot of other friends, but I'm going to miss being able to talk to my brother. Great sounding board. Great guy. We had um, a clubhouse room where people from Tesla Universe talked about their relationship with Steve and uh, his wife and son and my ex-wife uh, all listened in and they really appreciated it. We had a memorial service yesterday. Zoom had, I don't know, 40 or 50 people on it. And uh, I thought that was good. Um, yeah, I don't know that I've still, it's hard to process something like this. I'm pretty sure my dad dying was harder. I was very close to my dad. Um, and a little bit about me. I was born into a family of five. My father, my mother, two brothers, and, and myself. My oldest brother died when I was nine. He was 15. My father died in his 60s when I was, I think, my mid to late 20s. And uh, my mother's still alive, but she has severe Alzheimer's, doesn't know who I am, doesn't know who she is, doesn't know where she is. Still kicking, but she's basically gone, and my brother just passed, so I'm the last one standing out of five. For some reason, that means something to me. I'm not sure why, but... Um, I, and I want to say that uh, my brother's passing motivates me in a couple of ways. One, I already was kind of motivated to go to the gym every day. Today is a day I'm probably not going to be able to go to a gym, but I'm trying to go to the gym every day. Even on traveling, I've been able to go to the gym, get in 30 plus minutes of cardio, sometimes an hour. Uh, I've been doing more core exercises on this trip because I think I need to work on core while I'm sitting so long. So sit-ups and back exercises and so on. Um, and eating right and losing weight. I'm, I committed all that. And also, I just have this sense, you know, losing my brother like this, losing my father when I lost my father. My older brother is kind of different. Um, I just kind of have this sense that uh, we have a limited amount of time on this earth and you got to use it and get shit done. So, I, I'm kind of motivated now to get shit done. So, I had been talking about driving around the country for four months with the plaid, and it's not going to happen anymore. I'm gonna, probably going to take one or two drives, go up to New York, visit uh, family and friends, uh, go to Giga, uh, Austin for the annual shareholder meeting, maybe. Um, but I want to get to work. I want to get to work on the pod car. I want to get to work on starting an, another round of family, more kids. 
pretty much decided I'm going to hire a surrogate and be a single dad. That's a conversation for another day. But, you know, that's not going to happen quicker if I go drive around the country for four months. And I think driving around the country ends up being kind of frivolous. So it's time to start getting shit done. I mean, I've gotten stuff done before, but I need to get more done. I don't know how much time I got left. Feel really good. Hopefully I got 30 plus years, 20 useful years, maybe. It's time to get going. So I think you're going to see significant progress on Podcar in particular, maybe solar farm apartments in the next year or so. Fall of 2023, I'll be buying a home near Canaveral, maybe Satellite Beach, maybe Cocoa Beach, Rockledge Vieira, somewhere like that, in a community near an elementary, near an elementary school. So they're young families. So if I have kids, I'll have other families around to co-parent with or you know support each other. And uh, a garage or some space where I can hack out my uh, my pod car, or my solar farm apartment, prototypes, and get going. It's time. So, yeah. Big lesson. Now we'll see if I follow through. It's easy to talk. Ideas are easy. Talk is easy. Getting shit done is hard. It's time to start getting shit done. So. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. Please support this channel on the Locals platform. Please support me on the Locals platform on Patreon as a YouTube channel member. Check out my other videos, which there probably won't be any on this one at the end, but check out my channel, subscribe. Uh, check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. And thank you so much for watching.